uh, before we get going, uh, this is Stimpy and this is Stimmy Vapor. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at a squonker from 67 mods called the Rave Mini. The Mini, and it's oh so small, and it's oh so cute, and, and it looks like that. Uh, this is, I'll just show you, this is the Neo 60, this is an 18650 squonker. It's tiny! Uh, this is a collaboration between uh, 67 mods and Stimpy Vapor. Uh, this is designed in Bulgaria and this is manufactured in China. Now, this is 18350 4 ml capacity. Now, before we get going, I'll say this now and I'll probably mention it at the end as well. Uh, for this mod, now, it will fire down to 0.2 with the joule MOSFET that's inside this just now, but your limiting factor is your battery. Go along, check out Battery Mucci's recommendations in 18350 batteries, but as far as I'm concerned, and if you go off any calculator based on the, the batteries that I'm using, uh, the lowest I can go with this 18360, 18350 battery that I have is 0.5. That's as low as I can go. Actually, to be brutally honest, I don't see the point going down to 0.5 with uh, a battery like this because you'll just kill it in no time. Uh, you'll go through the power, yeah. So I've actually got a 1.1 ohm coil in the R2 by uh, Consio Mods on there just now. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about batteries at the end. But yeah, we'll just jump into this. Close-ups. So here we have the Rave Mini. Inside, you're going to find one mod. Now, once again, this is 115 euros, and I think that's going to apply across the board for all the materials. Uh, obviously, I have the Ultim one here, and there are many other finishes available. Uh, you've got different colours going on. You've got uh, aluminium bodies going on. There's stab wood bodies coming. So, yes, there's a lot. And once again, I said this already, but uh, these will be available through shops previously only being available through a Facebook page, but yes, you're going to be able to buy them online in shops. So, a little 18350 squonker. Now, just for some comparisons. So, here we have, uh, this is the, the Neo Fit, um, and you get an, this is an 18650, and you get an idea of the size there. And also got my Neo 60 here as well, and yeah, you get a, a rough idea of what's going on here size-wise. So this is a regulated one. This is a FET. Uh, this has a FET in it as well. And uh, yeah, it, it's just dinky. It's very, very dinky. Uh, obviously, you can see that uh, this is polished Ultim. Uh, I, I'm going to get so roasted by Raphael for doing this. But uh, this is the finish. This is what this used to look like until I polished it up. Um, and once this video is over, I'm going to do the exact same thing to this thing. But this is what it comes like when you buy it new. Now this is all CNC'd and um, yes, this is designed in Bulgaria, but it is manufactured in China. And it's got a massive button on it here. Now 18350 batteries and whatnot, we'll, we'll talk about in a point I go back up top. But uh, yeah, you've just got this little screw cap here that just comes off. No problems with that. Your battery is going to go in positive up. Screw this back down and I should, yep, there we get a light go show going on here. So one, two, three, four, five, switches it off. Nothing happening. One, two, three, four, five, and we're back on. Now every time I push the fire button, I'm going to get a light show going on here. I can one, two, three. That's the light show switched off. It'll still fire. One, two, three switches the light show back on. And that's as simple as it is. Reading, reading the spec sheet for this uh, FET in here, uh, you'll get a green light for 3.9 volts to 4.2 volts. It will then go blue 
when uh, you get 3.9 to 3.7 and then below that, 3.7 to 3.3 volts, you're looking at a red LED. And battery voltage below 3.3 volts, the red LED will just keep blinking at you. And, and that's it, the bat, no more VP VP. Now the MOSFET itself is suitable for 0 0.2, it's a dual MOSFET, once again by Stimpy Vapor. But this is an 18350 mod, so you're not going to be going down to 0 0.2. Uh, but I'll, I'll cover all the battery stuff once we go back up top again. So grabbing a Phillips screwdriver here, uh, we're going to just, because I can't help myself, I just love doing this stuff, I'm going to take this to bits. Because obviously when uh, I go to polish this later on, sorry Raphael, um, you know, I'm going to take these bits off. Another little screw here, so I'm just pulling that off just now. And then you can see that this is actually going to slide up like that. And if I turn that round, you can actually see the board inside there. So there's your little MOSFET. I know Raphael, uh, you know, 67 MOS tend to do this. They do give you the option of different coloured bodies and things like that and different buttons. So if you want to know how to change your button, well, that's how you do it. Just get in there and just push this up a little bit further. And hey ho, here we go. Taking the whole thing to bits. So there we are. I do like the fact that I can get in about this. Uh, this was the same with the Neo Fet and the, the Neo 60. You could get in and you could strip this down and get in about it. Now, uh, I did ask Raphael about the board and it does have a coating on it. So if you have any spillage or anything like that, you will be safe. But for now, I'm just gonna put this back together uh, because um, yeah, I need to do the rest of the review. I will say if you're doing this, when you're putting the screws back in, it just, as soon as you feel them binding, I just kind of like give them a little, not even a quarter turn, maybe even less than a quarter turn. As soon as I feel any resistance, then that's where I stop. Now, I forgot to say that the, the well that you have up here, that is 22 millimeters in diameter. That's it. Uh, you're going to get a 22mm atty in there, nothing else. So please bear that in mind if you're going after one of these 22mm atties only. Now the actual squonk bottle uh, I have here, it comes with one. You will be able to buy spares down the line uh, from the shops. Now this is a 4ml capacity bottle and you can see it's got a little pull tab at the bottom here. Uh, it's actually quite clever the way he's done this and I should really have emptied this off just before I started this but he's using the you know, stainless steel tube again going through here if I pull that out you can see that you know you've got the hole at the bottom there but there's like see that little dome stainless steel bit there well when you put this back in and I screw this down it actually pops into this piece at the bottom we've got to just push this down there you go, it's located into there now, and then just screw the top cap down. And then grabbing the mod, and I'm just going to take the bottle, pop it in there, and that's it, job done. And it squonks away, quite the thing. No issues with that at all. I, I will say that uh, to get this out, um, you do have to almost, you know, pinch the bottle, lift it up just a tiny little bit, then grab the bottom of this and then pull it out. Uh, I'll cover that when we get to the end. For, for, and just, yeah, it's uh, that. that's the supposed method is that you will just pull this up just a little bit and then pull that out. Or of what I do sometimes is I just get a pair of tweezers and I just hook onto this and then pull it out and out it comes. We'll throw an atty on here just now. Um, you know, I've got, this is the, the R2 by Consul Mods. Uh, I chose this because it's a really low pro profile RDA and just to let you see that, so. Now that is a, a 1.1 ohm coil in there just now. It's actually a, a tiny little fused Clapton and um, you can see the light coming on there. If I do the one, two, three, fire away. You can see it's still vaping away, but one, two, three, four, five. Nothing. One, two, three, four, five. Back on. One, two, three. And then I'll have the LED back on now. And that's it. Uh, so that is the little Rave Mini from 67 Mods. So uh, this is cute as a button. It really is as cute as a button. And 
as I th think I said in the close-ups, there will be lots, or there are lots of different versions available materials-wise. I, I know that he is uh, currently working or just getting finished stab wood versions. Uh, they will be available in the shops. Uh, up until now, it has only been through the Facebook group, but I know that there will be se several shops across the globe that will actually have these. I think, according to Raphael, we've got Barrett Broom in France, Steam Island in the UK, and Vape Space Japan. So that's pricing and, and where you will be able to get them. So I know a lot of people hate the Facebook thing, so it is good that you'll get them in the shops. Now, as far as the, the construction in the mod, how it's made, put together, does it fire, does it do everything I expect? Yes, it does. It's very, very simple in that, uh, you know, for my one, you just have a body. You've got two posts going down here, two little screws here that hold this top section in place. Uh, you've got uh, the Stimpy Vapor uh, dual MOSFET board in there. Yes, it'll fire down to 0 0.2, but uh, you don't go as low as that with an 18350 battery. Um, and you will only fit a 22mm RDA in there. You could almost, for me, this this is just a, a, a little pod system. It's almost like a pod squonker. It really is. Um, it is so deceiving, the size of it, but it is incredibly comfortable to squonk with. It, it, it almost feels like you're squonk. It's small, but you feel like you've got a full-size squonker in your hand just because your finger still goes to here, thumb up to here, and it works great. I really like vaping with this. Um, once again, this is just over a one ohm coil. That's not bad for a 1.1 ohm coil in an 18350 battery. There's no shame to that at all. Listen, obviously the it's a 4mm capacity, okay? Um, and with the 18350 battery, it's not going to last you all day at all. It just won't last you all day. Um, obviously you could if you tried, but uh, for me, yes, I, I quite happily... I would take this with me if I was if I wasn't working from a shed anymore where all my vape gear is, if I was taking this to work with me, uh, you know, where you're at a desk, say, all day, you get uh, breaks to go for a vape, uh, you've got your lunch hour, then I'm pretty sure that for me personally, two 18350 batteries would get me to work, vape, and back home, no problem at all. I don't think it, two batteries would get me through an entire day, but, you know, your mileage is going to be different, it all depends how you vape. I cannot stress enough, once again, 18350 batteries, there are modern 18350 batteries, newer cells that you've got like 1100 milliamp hour ones that are a lot better than the ones we used to have and and yes they are you know you get 10 amp ones and go and check out Mooch. I always have a link in my video descriptions for Mooch's I think it's his ECF page where you'll find all his results and charts and so on but make sure you get a decent 18350 battery, one of the modern ones. The older ones, you, 0 0.5. No, you don't do 0 0.5 with the old 18350 batteries. Anyway, the mod itself, negatives. For me, and possibly you, um, it's only 22 mil. Uh, you'll not get anything bigger than a 22 mil in there because it's a, a little catch cup, if you like. Uh, the other one is the bottle. It's a soft silicon bottle. It squonks great. I, I don't have any issues with the squonking on it whatsoever. Uh, I've not had any leaks coming from this bottle, but I do find getting the bottle out a complete and utter pain in the arse. <laughs> it really is. I, I mean, I can turn it upside down. I mean, if you're ever taking a squonk bottle out, this is kind of what you do, is turn it upside down and then you can pinch it and then you can kind of like pull it up a bit and then you can just see that that's raised there now and then get your... Can't. I, I really, really do struggle getting that bottle out. You need to get yourself a refill bottle that has a smaller diameter than 22mm at the top. That would be my recommendation for filling this. Um, 
yes, you can get the bottle out. You can. I struggle personally getting the bottle out. I'm not wanting to make a meal out of it or, or blow this out of proportion because I can still get juice in there and I can still get the bottle out, but it's not what I would call user-friendly getting the bottle out. It's not something I would do easily on the fly. And that is my one issue with this device. Everything else I'm more than happy with. I like the board, I like the LEDs, I like the fact I can switch them off, I like the fact I can switch the mod off. Um, I like the fact you have, you know, battery indicator on it as well. And it's so comfortable to vape with. So all in, it's a really, really nice little guy. It's It does what I want from it. But uh, yeah, getting the bottle out is, it's a bit of a pain. And that's me, That's I think that I've covered everything for the little Rave Mini. I, I think it's cute as a button and I thoroughly enjoy vaping with it. But thank you to Raphael at 67 Mods and uh, Stimpy Vapor who are behind the board that is inside this. And to you guys as always, thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.